Hi, my name is Alex Barrett and I'm one of the UK filmmakers behind Why I Love London. I thought it might be an idea just to take a few minutes to talk to you about the intentions behind the project and how it came to be. The film was actually made for a competition um, called I Love London, which was run by Filmmaker and Love Film. And um, the brief behind the competition was basically that uh, it, you could make anything you wanted as long as it was centred around the theme of I Love London. So a friend of mine sent me an email about it, and I immediately thought that it might be a project to speak to Raheem about. Raheem grew up sort of in the centre of London, and um, he's always struck me as someone that's very proud of the culture and the heritage of the city. Um, so I, I forwarded the email on to him, and I sort of said, you know, this sounds like something we could do. Do you want to take a stab at it? So we sort of discussed it for quite a while and, you know, bounced ideas back and forth. And then I just kind of said to him, look, you know, I, I think we're maybe going about this the wrong way. And I think the way to approach it would actually be to take a personal approach. So why don't we just, you know, brainstorm and come up with ideas about why we love London as individuals? So we both kind of thought about it for a while and we both kind of realised that the thing that we really loved about London was actually the art and the culture at the centre of the city. And... You know, both being filmmakers and being really big film fans, we realised that actually, you know, for us, the BFI really encapsulates all of that. You know, it, it sums up the culture and the heart of London. So we just decided to write a very simple story about someone that spends um, an afternoon at the South Bank and goes to see a film at the BFI. Because for us, really, you know, that said everything about why we as individuals love London. Um so we sort of came up with the story and luckily uh, Lisa Moore at the BFI was really generous and sort of let us go and film there uh, and was very supportive of the project. Uh, we kn knew at the time that we only had a couple of weeks. Uh, we, only, we only found out about the competition a couple of weeks before the deadline so we knew that we didn't have very long to put the film together. And so to try and keep it simple we sort of set ourselves some uh, technical limitations such as we wouldn't use a tripod. Um, just to sort of speed up the shoot and to keep it all simple with permits and all that kind of thing. Um, and we also knew that we didn't really have time to kind of get a proper crew involved, and so we decided it would just be the two of us, which meant that we also wouldn't really be able to have um, any proper sound recording on the day. So we kind of just decided to not really mic anything, and um, actually I think that, that worked out in the best uh, for us anyway, because actually there was a lot of extraneous noise at the South Bank that day that we wouldn't have been able to use. Um, so that was another limitation that we set ourselves. We knew also that we had to shoot it in a day and be able to edit it in one or two days. Um, and then actually subsequently what happened was that they extended the deadline for the competition by a week, which gave us a tiny bit longer to um, cut the project and kind of gave me an extra day to kind of play around with some of the colours. And uh, we actually got some music composed for the film, which we decided in the end not to use uh, because we liked just the kind of the atmospheric sound and felt that that better represented the mindset of the character and where he was coming from as an individual um, and sort of summed up his world and kind of what what was going on in his head. Um, so another uh, thing that we decided quite early on as well was that we were going to shoot him 4 by 3 um, so we sort of stuck to that ratio. Uh, we decided because we, we had a debate about 69 letterbox or you know, 69 anamorphic, and so we just decided it'd be simpler just to go with 4 by 3 uh, which was a ratio that we, sort of, you know, some of our favourite films are made in, um, and we decided, you know, it'd be nice to kind of set ourselves to the task of com composing images for that frame. Um, and in a way, you know, we kind of had this idea of using the irises, and so the old ratio of 4 by 3 kind of tied in with this use of the iris uh, quite nicely. So um, that's sort of all I've got time to say. I hope that uh, I've been of some interest and enlightened the project in some way. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.